Good morning, yogis. My name is Shannon. Today I've got a 15 minute full body yoga flow for you guys. It's great for beginners. It's to help wake you up and get the juices flowing in the morning. We'll be spending time this morning getting to the hips, the spine, and the legs. If you're new here, welcome. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every single week and it's a super easy way for you to support free yoga on YouTube. If you're a returning yogi, welcome back. It's good to see you guys. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get settled into a comfortable, easy seat in a cross-legged position, whatever that looks like for you. If you need a blanket or a pillow to place under your bum to make it more comfortable, that's totally fine. But let's settle in here. Just bring the hands down to the knees and close your eyes. As we begin to turn the attention inward, just begin to notice your inhalations and exhalations. and congratulate yourself for coming to the mat today to foster a morning yoga practice to help your outlook for the whole rest of the day. Do a quick scan of the body. Just notice how it feels today without any judgment at all. Just notice. And if you would like to set an intention for your practice today, something positive to bring your mind back to in case it begins to wander, and perhaps something you can bring forward into the rest of your day. Now's a great time. On your next inhale, we'll go ahead and float the eyes open. Inhale the arms up overhead, clasp your hands together and pistol fingers. Inhale tall and exhale over to the left, gazing underneath the elbow. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you're not rolling the hip up off the ground as you go through these. And go at your own pace. Inhale and exhale, waking up the spine. Let's come back to center. Exhale the arms down to the sides. Inhale them back up in a T and exhale. Come over to the left side, bringing the right hand to the knee, left hand behind. Inhale tall and on an exhale, rotate in a twist gazing over the left shoulder behind you. If that's too much for your neck, just gaze straight ahead. On an inhale, come back to center, arms in a T, and exhale over to the right, bringing the left hand to the knee, right hand behind. Exhale in a gentle twist, gazing over the right shoulder or straight ahead. Take an inhale, come bring the arms back to center and exhale back down to the ground. On your next inhale, rise back up with your arms, reaching up towards the sky and clasp the hands together. Place them back behind your head. Inhale and a slight back bend. Exhale forward, drawing the elbows down towards the knees. Inhale back up. Exhale down. One more round, wherever you are, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale back to center, we'll have some fun with this. Let's just go over towards the left side and just wave all the way around to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the right, wave around to the left in a semicircle. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Exhale around, meet back in center, and let's float the arms back down to the sides. 
Now we'll move to tabletop position. So just come over onto your hands and knees. Make sure that the shoulders are over the wrists and make sure that the hips are right above the knees. I'm going to do a little circular cat-cow motion. So just wave forward in a circle and wave all the way around. And it doesn't matter what direction you go in. Just go with your inhales and exhales, getting some nice movement, just waking the body up, getting some energy flowing. Whatever direction you started in, let's change sides. So just go in the opposite direction. One more inhale and exhale. We'll meet together in a neutral spine. Now we'll shift back into our first down dog of the day. So tuck your toes behind you, lift your hips up behind you, drawing the shoulder blades down the back, pushing the hips towards the back of the mat. Gaze is toward the kneecaps or towards the navel, whichever is most comfortable for you. Once you're here, just go ahead and pedal out the feet. working through some of those creaky muscles and those creaky joints, just getting them ready for the rest of the day today. On an inhale, come up on your toes. Exhale the heels down towards the floor, just as close as you can to the mat. Feel free to put a generous bend in the knee. Big breath here, and on an inhale, lift the right leg behind you with the hips square, three-legged dog. Gaze forward in between your hands. Bring the knee forward, step in between your hands in what's kind of like a high runner's lunge. Keeping the hands down, keeping the weight in between both legs and each foot. Breathe here, and then step forward with the left foot to meet the right. Grab each elbow and hang here in ragdoll. Using gravity to help stretch out the low back and the back of the legs. You can wave back and forth here if you'd like. I tend to like to do that. Just breathe. And exhale the hands back down. Roll all the way up into Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms up overhead, gathering energy for your day, maybe slight back bend. Exhale down, hands to heart center in prayer, drawing that energy down to your heart. Let's take a vinyasa here. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, gaze in front of you. Forward fold, step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Shift the hips back, exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here for a breath. Inhale, the left foot up behind you, three-legged dog, keeping the hips square. Look forward in between your hands. Step forward in between your hands. Staying in a crescent lunge with your hands down towards the mat. And step the right foot forward. Bring it to meet the left foot. Grab each elbow and just hang and ragdoll. Maybe waving gently back and forth. Release the arms, roll all the way up into mountain pose. Inhale, arms up overhead. Maybe slight back bend here. Exhale, hands to heart center. Vinyasa, inhale up. Exhale down, forward fold. Halfway lift, gaze in front of you. Forward fold, step back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, shift towards the back, downward facing dog. Let's pause here for a breath. 
Inhale, open your mouth and let it go. We'll go through that flow one more time. Inhale, right foot behind you in three-legged dog. Look forward in between your hands. Spring the leg forward, step in between your hands in crescent lunge with hands to the floor. In between a crescent lunge and a runner's lunge. And step forward with the left foot, bring it beside the right, grab each elbow, hang in ragdoll. Release the arms, roll all the way up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Reach up overhead, gathering energy for the new day. Exhale, bring it to your heart center. Nice sun salutation slash vinyasa. Inhale up. Exhale down, forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause for a breath. Inhale, left foot behind you, three-legged dog. Look forward in between your hands, swing the leg forward to step in between the hands in lunge. Then step the right foot forward to meet the left, grab each elbow and just hang in ragdoll. Release the elbows. And rise all the way up, rising up to meet the sun and the new day. Reach up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center in prayer. Take a moment here and close your eyes. Bring your intention into your mind again. Big inhale, breathe it in. Open your mouth, exhale anything that you no longer need. Letting your intentions shine through your heart center like a beacon. Bring the hands down to the sides. One more sun salutation. Inhale up, slight back bend. Exhale down, forward fold. Halfway lift, gaze in front of you. Forward fold, step back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale to the back of the mat, downward facing dog. Now come down to your knees in tabletop position. Untuck your toes and just shift back into child's pose. But towards the back of the mat, reach forward with your hands, bring your forehead to the mat, engage the arms so that you get a good stretch all the way across the shoulders. Taking a moment to Open up those shoulder blades and let go of anything that has been weighing down on your shoulders. On an inhale, come back up into your tabletop position. Cross your feet behind you, shift the butt back and just come down to a seat. Leaving your knees bent in front of you, wrap the right arm around, reach behind with the left, inhale up tall. On the exhale, twist, gazing over the left shoulder. Inhale, come through center. Wrap around with the left arm, reach behind with the right, Inhale up tall, exhale, twist, gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale, come out of your twist and let's roll vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down to the mat. Pick up both feet, bring your heels in together and bring them down towards your bottom, grabbing your feet, 
Pressing down into reclined butterfly, pressing the low back into the ground, beginning to ground down into the earth and ground down into the solidity of your practice. Release your feet, bring the knees in, bring your feet up. I'm coming to happy baby. Dra grab the sides of your legs, the ankles, or the feet, and just roll back and forth, massaging the low back. Come back to center, bring the knees in, reach up, give yourself a big hug because you did amazing today. And release into Shavasana, let it all go. All the effort of your practice, just let it go. Any remaining tension in the body, let it go. Just let it sink into the ground below you. Feel how you are weightless and effortless here and completely supported by the earth. If you would like to extend your savasana today, you can pause this video and do that. Otherwise, begin to call awareness back to the body, deepening your breathing. Make some small movements with the fingers and toes, some rotations with the ankles and wrists. Reach long for a big stretch and roll over to one side in the fetal position. When you are ready, you can use your hand and press yourself back up into your comfortable seat. Keeping your eyes closed, float your hands back down to your knees, sitting tall. And do one more quick scan of the body. Just notice how it feels now as opposed to how it felt at the beginning of practice today. And thank yourself for taking time out of your day to do some yoga and something that's good for you. you can bring your hands to heart center in prayer and open your eyes. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for taking a little time with me and doing some yoga today. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care out there. May you be happy, safe, and peaceful. I'll see you guys next time.